Why are you? Spring. You okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. That's you have to take that sound of just saying spring ding. <laughs> spring. <laughs> That's pretty good. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the what is this episode 152 of the Cod Brothers podcast? Uh, today I am your host, Dude. Spring Boy, Spring Man, yep, the Springster, uh, followed by my two friends and co hosts, Brandon. Dude, this is gonna make us have more episodes than the original 151 Pokemon. Oh, Whoa. shoot, you're right, and a lot of Pokemon, more episodes than original Pokemon, and Oscar. I'm also a Pokemon. And just like Pokemon, we're going to run out of uh, names to call each other. We can only get so yeah, offensive. What do you mean? I'm not the only one with Nick. Well, you're I'm Scaris. Spring Boy. And Scaris. I'm, not, I'm, I'm Spring not, Boy. That's like your third nick. That's your second nickname. We're getting there. I've been called Oyster. Oreo. By, by Bryant. Oh, yeah. You're Oyster Bob. What? I got I came up with Bob. Brag. <laughs> rag. Rag it. What, what is the mean? Why rag? I never knew why rag. That was one that Olivia came up with. Oh. Uh, because it started with, like, I think she called me Braggit. Ah. Uh, and then, like, Braggin, Brag on, Brags, and then just Rag. We just mediated to the default of Rag. <laughs> yeah, it, it just... It, normally, words expand in their meaning, <laughs> but my names are just, like... it's There's the kingdom, like, the king... Of, like, the animal kingdom, like... The kingdom that we're in is my name, Brandon, and every branch that goes down in between that is all the nicknames and how they just keep deviating. <laughs> but that makes more sense than going from William to Bill, right? Yes, I agree, sure. yeah. I don't, I've Will. never understood William. Yeah, dude, that, Pirates of the Caribbean. Bootstrap Bill is the father of William Turner, who's his junior, because they're both William. Is it because people start saying Bill. Billion? You look like a billion, billion bucks, and they just start calling him Bill for no reason. I mean, I don't think people in, dollars, during maritimes, yeah. during maritime sailing, I don't think a billion dollars was even comprehensible to that kind of mind. That's fair. How many schmeckles would that be? Doubloons. Twenty. Don't drop them. Wink, What's wink. the value of an ounce of gold? Like a thousand and some change. Like bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. At least, yeah. Thanks, Gecko. Do you think they still get phone calls asking about those conversion rates? Are they standard still? Does uh, a woodchuck oh. still chuck wood? Did the little pig cry wee 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 all the way home? Oh my God. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I remember those ones. Those commercials were kill killing it. I'm surprised they didn't make more. Felt like it ended pretty Money. quickly. Yeah, you're right. I don't even know what Gecko's doing now. Are they still pushing that stupid Gecko? Oy, bruv, I'm yeah. a stallion. That's a knife. I'm a straight. You want to eat a blooming onion? They had those uh, commercials... <laughs> Where it was like uh, the caveman watching the Geico commercials. It was like, I think it was a Super Bowl commercial, right? Yeah, it was mm -hmm. something like that. The, the caveman was back. Love and the he caveman. was like, how could they use my name again? I mean, they made him look bad or something. They made him say like, oh yeah, yeah Geico can never do this. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm a caveman. Uh-huh. So, you I can make fire. And I'm like a normal guy. Like he, He's like, I'm an attorney or something. <laughs> <laughs> Please just love me. What do we got going on today, boys? The boys? Did I say uh, the boys? It's the end of a the boys. pretty long weekend, honestly. I've done a lot this well, weekend. No. It's next weekend's a lot, long weekend. Jeez, Not this weekend. I have a 40 weekend this next weekend. Jeez. Please. Yeah, so instead of getting Juneteenth off. I'm only off, off Thursday. Oh, I'm sorry. But instead of getting a Juneteenth off, which is a federal holiday, our bosses and overlords decided to give us the day after the fourth off so we get a four-day weekend all right i guess and that would have worked out pretty well but uh mail didn't come and pick up which sucked because then just double the mail went out the next day on the 20th we did successfully get them to change columbus day to indigenous people's day and by changing i mean <laughs> just the name it's still the same day off <laughs> man well, i've been playing the living fuck out of stardew valley for some godforsaken reason explain yourself is it fun or something? Yeah, it's fun. It's just like, I, play, I had it a long time ago, and then I was just bored and going through my games. I was like, you know what? Start it up. And I started it up. Now I can't stop fucking playing. Naturally. Yeah, I got into it a little bit last week. I see the value in it, but um, might not be for me. <laughs> I was just yeah, fishing just perpetually. Minecraft. But fishing you got to play a single-player world and figure everything out. 
That's true. I kind of just joined uh, yours and Colton's server and just didn't really know what I was yeah. doing. I didn't even know that yeah, was I, I feel like if you start if you start a thing and play through it, and because it, it's an RPG, but it's meant to be like, you have this amount of time every day. You got to pick what you got to go do and then just learn from that, you know? Okay. I fucking love it. I agree with Oscar. So it's yeah, just a life I simulator? Infected. Pretty much, actually. Dang. If like you just want to leave the city and just go to the be a farmer. What's stopping us from picking up a uh, farming simulator? The fact that it's farming simulator. Yeah, but we could farm and do whatever we it's, want. It's a different game. So yeah, it's, it's Call of Duty. They're both farming games, <laughs> but... So it's better Stardew or Terraria? If I want... Ooh. Stardew. Liar. You can't put opinion. cactus armor on in Stardew. <laughs> you can't, can't raise cattle in Stardew. That. Uh, but I can put walls in my house. Yeah, but... You... Yeah, you can't get married in Terraria. What if it's in a Discord server, huh? <laughs> well, then. We don't do Minecraft girlfriends anymore. It's all about Terraria. I hope Shrimpina comes back, if that's the case. Mm-hmm. Her name's Shrimpina. <laughs> She'd be a shrimp. Are there shrimp in Terraria? E- no. There's shrimp in... There's lobsters Sorry. in this. Yeah, shrimp and lobsters, other crustaceans. Dude, we got a variety of sea spiders. It's awesome. I didn't need to hear that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> crustaceans and shit like that are just sea bugs well I understand that's also icky and gross I, I don't want that yeah come on you're just jealous you don't have an exoskeleton well not yet I haven't evolved to that point yet <laughs> give me a couple years dude can what do you think no it wouldn't happen over a lifetime but you think that humans will evolve exoskeletons only true alpha, right not, in, not in the current conditions that the earth's in Mm. Like, well, let's keep pumping on those fossils because, like, we're we're mammals. So if any other things would do it, it'd be like shit that's already done it. Alligators and whatnot that kind of have that armor. It's not really an exoskeleton, but you got that fucking rough ass skin. So I should okay. kill the crocodile and take their armor. That's that's what our ancestors did. That's why we wear clothes. They're, that's that's probably why people started wearing clothes because they were like, huh. The, the walking man from the sky told me evolution. I do not understand this. I will take its skin and I will evolve. Wait, the, wait was, what? The walking man in the sky? I don't know. Whatever came, you know. <laughs> like, they, went, ooh, ooh, they probably oh, believe. Oh, they saw a shooting star and went, whoa. <laughs> so ima- it, 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 imagine it. It's 20,000 years ago. Someone's looking up at the sky and they see a shooting star and it just like right before it hits them, it goes, Looks him in the eye, and in one second, they play the entire Cosmic Avenged Sevenfold music video and flies away. And then the, the dude goes, I understand. What, what when Monkey Became Man. New idea, Brandon. It's the uh, Cosmic you know, song over the Big Bang Theory intro. Slow down. Reverb. Would it make more sense? <laughs> <laughs> they built the pyramids. They, built the, they did build the pyramids. They do be building All the pyramids. The- I was picturing the fucking the video for the Big Bang theories like at the beginning of an episode, but it was just like the p- the slow piano part and all the <laughs> pictures they show at Big Bang theories slowed down. Like shows the Sphinx is like there you'll find me, and then it just shows an atom <laughs> before the dawn of man. <laughs> Baller. That's what NFTs were leading up to. Hell yeah. Hey, sorry, so you're the one that brought NFTs up right now, okay? So I don't want to hear it. I did, but Avenged Sevenfold has made Mi- that their identity. Mr. I hate NFTs owns all the NFTs and always brings up <laughs> NFTs. Hey, I didn't purchase the NFTs, dog. We've been over this. I purchased the item and they you came You did purchase them. You did. Yeah, you did but you also them. say you hate them and you're always the first to say it. I saw cool Not always, Avenged Sevenfold but in this instance. And I purchased it. I didn't buy the NFT. I didn't even know it had an NFT until I opened it and went, oh, great. You know that Spongebob meme where that fish is looking in the toilet? And he's just like, oh, great. That's how I feel with this yeah. fucking skateboard. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> and the t-shirts oh, and all the merch. Yeah, I don't was... know why they put the tokens in the shirts themselves. They were just like, I'm going to wash this shit. And then it's going to get destroyed. It's so you know it's official merch. That's it. I guess. Unless I rip it off and put it on another shirt. Well... But would it get destroyed if I Dude. run it through the wash or something? From what I can tell, Dude, it hasn't. Cyrus, you should totally do that. You should cut it out and then sew it onto like the shirt that you got from the concert we saw. Oh, okay. Yeah, make my own merch. That's cool. Yeah. It'll be one I of am one. my merch. 
Nobody else will it, have it. It would be a one of one, yeah. Unless somebody else at that Sacramento show bought some because, jeans because fucking underwear that, shirts. That, well, I'm pretty sure with that shirt, it was just like someone bought a plain blank shirt from somewhere and printed the thing on it. You just have to do that and sew the NFT in it and be like, sell it anonymously. It's one of one. I'm pretty sure he had the, all the shirts tucked into his underwear because we were like, yeah, we'll take a couple shirts. And he just fucking pulled it out of nowhere like he had an inventory. I don't know where it came it was from. Che- it was cheaper than the stuff that they were selling. And it's I still see the pictures on it. The it's people that were around us were like, it, it's going disapp- to disappear in one day. It's lasted, what, seven years? Yeah. That shirt was 20 bucks it, it, in line. Yeah. And the official merch was 40 bucks. The official merch that I bought shrunk in the washer. I've never worn that shirt. I just put it in a box. Wow. Yeah. Shout out to yeah, I still uh, wear that shirt. The line. It's a good fucking shirt. I think it looks better than the one they were selling. That's what they were advertising. And honestly, some most of the time, there's a lot of people that are just scamming, but those people had genuine merchandise. I this, wish they were a legitimate business, you know? This they were just selling of, shirts on the street. <laughs> the last round of merch that Avenged Sevenfold has done is actually pretty high quality, though. I'm a fan. It's just too expensive to get the sweatshirts. So, like, that that Reaper shirt I wear was, like, 40 bucks, which was the same price as the tour shirt, and it's, like, at least triple the quality. But they sell sweatshirts for 90 bucks, and I just can't vibe with that. No, no, no. way. Mm-mm. I no have fucking too many way, sweatshirts to pay $90 on one. Yeah, no, that's fucking ridiculous. For something that's going to, like, as you wash it and use it, the, 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 the writing and shit will get rub off on it, you know? Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, great. Just, there goes $30 worth of writing on my fucking sweatshirt. <laughs> we had a similar discussion of this a few nights ago. Remember the uh, the Golf Wang <laughs> merch drop and there's a oh, nightlight that's yeah. $40? What, the fucking nightlight. And it has, it's primitive that needs a fucking switch rather than like a clap on and clap off shit. Yeah, because most... What do you mean? What? <laughs> what? For primitive is a switch? What? <laughs> you said, Brandon, that like for 40 bucks, the fact that it comes with like an on-off switch rather than like an app or a button for you like to connect it to Wait, or something. What are we talking about? You, you said it was talked about the other night. I the nightlight. It was the that one nightlight. nightlight that has a switch on it, not a light sensor. Because we were talking about how you had just bought one for like three bucks. And it turns on and off automatically depending on... um. If it's bright or not in the room, uh, it wasn't. It wasn't three bucks, but it was affordable. It was not forty dollars. It wasn't forty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But, okay. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah. So I was like, "What? Like? Oh, oh, yeah." And you were upset because it was so expensive, and it still has a switch on it. it doesn't even have a sensor. A sensor that costs like four <laughs> cents. Those are really cheap, by the way. Those sensors they put in it. It's just a light sensor. It's twenty twenty four. Yeah. Yeah. It's literally just a. It's a small little light detector that they connect. To all the other things it's nothing fancy at all in 2024 a redstone switch 10 will. 15 years ago the 40 dollars probably would have been justified but it's it's not it's old technology at this point mm-hmm. there are lamps less expensive than that nightlight <laughs> and they do the same thing actually they do the thing better than the nightlight way better there's something you can even dim them on like the little uh like clicker remote thing that's on the wire you know what i mean some of them have like a little dimming se- a function to them too. So you There's, even have a big ass lamp that's a nightlight. That's even better. Dimmer switches are the future, even though they've been around for a while. Dude, at the house that I was at this weekend, one of the bedrooms, um, <laughs> there was like normal switches throughout most of the house, but in one of the bedrooms where we like had our backpacks and stuff, fucking <laughs> it, it, the the light switch was. Uh, it, it was a like the one they put up and down, whatever that word was, like the the slider. Yeah, you also know, the dimmer thing. Yeah, yeah, dimmer oh, yeah. kind of thing. But the the entire on and off was that, and I thought it was like you had to push it in to start it. But no, it was you. You just push the thing up, and then there was the base level, and then you could turn the light brighter with the little thing. A light bright. But I was like, w- why is this one room have it? <laughs> there might have been other ones. But like the main ones in the hallways and stuff and in the garage, there was normal light switches up, down. <laughs> My current house has a lot of dimmers and it's really weird because some of them work very well and some of them suck absolute dick and I refuse to touch them. Like I'll just turn on another light. You've been in my house, right? You know the giant atrium where the front stairs are at? Really? Yeah. All the lights in the ceiling are dimmer activated. We don't turn those on ever because they're they're about as powerful as a nightlight. They're insanely stupid, even if you turn the dimmer all the way up. 
I don't know who invented those. But then you go downstairs into the living room and there's a dimmer in there as well. And that shit gets nuclear. Like if you're sleeping and somebody fucking whips that shit on, you're blind. You never know what's going to hit you. (laughs) Flashbang. Take it on my head. Big bass truck bust. Hey, Oscar, spoiler alert. I'm in your walls too. Why can you be in Cyrus's walls and in my walls? (laughs) Secret Soviet technology. I thought you were German. Yeah, well, I, I am German Russian. Yeah, they 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 were in Germany. How can you be in Russia German and, and in, how can be in Germany what... and Russia and then also in and my? <laughs> it's because he's Explain yourself. Explain yourself. <laughs> Explain yourself. He's As Walter White said, ha, "You got me." <laughs> I'm not explaining. <laughs> yeah, I'm not explaining it though. <laughs> It's because so Brandon got. Brandon's KGB. He's crazy great barn door. Nice, He's got his own like nice. wizardry tree. I can't. I have to. I heard you say Brandon. Brandon. Right there. <laughs> and uh, honestly, honestly, that just made me think of a new alter ego me, where it's me, but I just wear overalls and have like a straw hat, and I live in the bayou. That's Brandon. Brandon. Uh, down in Missouri. <laughs> Dude, that, that, I, my, that's where my grandpa was born. Missouri. Damn it, Brandon. Missouri, How Missouri. Can you also be in Missouri. <laughs> what the fuck? O- Oscar, explain to me this. How are you in Honduras right now, then? Uh, via satellite. <laughs> via satellite. <laughs> Cyrus, how are you in a satellite hour north? <laughs> you know it. Fucking hell. Cyrus, how are you here when you're over the hills and across the water? I just said I'm in a canoe an hour north. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, same oh, shit. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> See, we're a very diverse group of people here. We care about Oscar, diversity. you're here and we're going off the rails a little bit. Brandon's oh, here yeah, for I'll that diversity hire. You and Oscar are ethnic as fuck. Dude, I... <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys hear about uh, this uh, Chinese rocket that they were testing today? Or late yesterday, I believe. They uh, were testing the engine on this rocket. However, it strapped down. So the motherfucker just took off about like 300, 400 feet in the air. And then it came crashing down and blew up. It was the wildest thing I saw. Did he kill anybody? No, it was like in the middle of like a forest around. But like someone, it was like near a village of some kind. And Yikes. like they were filming on their phones and fuck. Seeing that shit go off was just ridiculous. I did the same thing in eighth grade, but it was a bottle rocket, and it just hit somebody in the face. Oh, my God. Yeah, they deserved it. <laughs> what did they Chuck, do? They were standing where it landed. Chuck, I don't know. Oh, Chuck you're right. David with a Roman known. candle once, but we were having a Roman candle fight, so it was fair. So he deserved it? Look. My, my spells were more powerful than his, and I <laughs> landed my last shot right on his neck. <laughs> Listen, no matter what anyone says, Roman candle fights... Are totally safe and a lot of fun. You should do them. Disclaimer: We're not responsible Listen, for injuries. D- d- <laughs> disclaimer: Do do it with a ready, let readily a fire extinguisher. Have a fire extinguisher ready, and a bucket of d- water to douse the things in immediately. Be yeah. responsible when you use fireworks, motherfucker. Stop setting random fires. Especially in Nevada. If you're gonna use fireworks, use do candles. it responsibly. But also use Roman candles and fight with them. Yep. It's yeah, do, absolutely do it if it's safe. If you're in the right spot, if you're in the middle of a fucking field and everything's dry, don't do it. <laughs> you're a dumbass. You are, you deserve a Darwin Award if you do that. Ah, uh, dude, Darwin. Shout out to my homie Darwin. That you ever watch fish. Darwin Award videos? Yes, they're awesome. No, it, it's people. It you, you know what natural selection the the theory of natural selection, right, Oscar? Uh, I am a fully. Christianized Christian. Uh, I don't believe in evolution. Okay. Well, I didn't say evolution. I said natural selection. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yes. Meaning yeah, like yeah. God's will. If, if you're, if you're, God's you know, <laughs> some people interpret it. So yeah. But you know, nature selection. If you're smart, right. you survive. If you're dumb and you do dumb shit, you you fuck around, you find out. You know. The Galapagos Islands, man. Those turtles, yeah. man. Anyways, the turtles, though. Darwin Awards are. If you look it up on the internet, it's people either doing something that ends up in unaliving or almost unaliving getting really oh hurt my. yeah 
for a dumb reason. Their own dumb reasons. It's just, not like just because they're being like it's because some person's just like I'm gonna see if these two textbooks can stop a uh, a desert eagle, 500 cow, and then they shoot one bullet and it goes right through the textbooks and him. Like, it, and like it's from that, and it's from that extreme and even to more extreme into just like people doing dumb shit and surviving. But you know she went to prison for that. I for yeah murder. I did. Oh my! Because because pretty much they deliberated and went. What did you think was gonna happen? That you weren't gonna kill him. I th- like, I was watching a video. What's the guy? Operator Donut, I think is the guy's name on YouTube. Shout out to him. I watch his shit every now and again. Is he like a bounty hunting guy, isn't he? No, I think I think he was like a former cop or something like that. He, that oh, might okay. be what a, he he might have been what he did, but. The videos that I see, he what he does like a Darwin Awards series, and then uh does like reactions to cop shootings and shit like that. Mm. Like shows because okay. he, he he puts up censored versions of it on YouTube that is able to put up there, but he also has a channel and other shit that has the uncensored stuff that isn't monetized. But is it like John Boy Media when he does the uh, sports slip readings, but with? Cops body cams. He doesn't do the lip readings. He like dang it shows what happened and then like breaks down what happened. And yeah. Well what happened? Interesting. Okay. It's just like a react for but like for body cam cop videos types things. It was not really a react for, it's more of because he does like recent ones, because one of the ones that I saw that was posted within the last I think it was this year in February and it was posted a month or two ago was a shoot cop shooting in uh Sparks. And it was mm. fucking insane. I didn't hear about it in the news at all, but it literally happened in Sparks. Somebody texted the group chat when it happened because they had a rock all blocked off that day. I do remember that. It was, it was not too long ago, I think. It was like March or April. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. I'm not talking about the one that was during the day. It was one in February that happened at nighttime. It was a uh, a bar- like a barricaded sus- suspect with a hostage. I think it, ended about the same ver- it ended. It it was at nighttime in the video that he posted. Was it when they were in the storage shed and he was hiding behind a shelf on the left, with a bunch of shit in the background? No, the one that I was that he posted the thing on was um, it was like in an apartment complex. Oh okay. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking about the one that started during the day. Uh, it was the uh the cop that just pulled the guy over that was driving the Tahoe and the guy shot through the window. Yeah, no, it wasn't Fuck. that one. Mm-hmm. Damn, there's two different That's instances. Crazy. Fucking Reno. It, it, it was, it, it was a, I remember, well, it was funny because he kept saying it was Reno. And then, and the stuff that he was like referring to for all the official statements and stuff, he was always referring it to as the SPD. And I was like, That's not RPD, that's Sparks PD. It didn't happen in Reno, it happened in Sparks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Only I gave a fuck about that distinction just because we live here, but. That's fair. I, th- I think this entire area is Reno. You live in Sun Valley, Reno, Fernley, yeah. Reno-ish. When I was when I was in the fucking between Roseville, Lincoln, all that kind of fucking town area there, I was like, damn, it's literally the same town, just a bunch of fucking farmland in between. <laughs> I consider Reno all the way up until the uh, the lottery place on the border of California. Honestly, yeah. Even though that's technically in California, you'll be like, oh, just go to the lottery place in Reno. It's only thirty minute drive. At most, it, over with yeah, traffic, because it's the, the border technically goes through right there. So I looked it up because there's a casino in the parking lot. The line for California is like ten feet in front of the lottery place's door. They put it That's right wild. on the border. Like the parking lot's in Nevada, but when you walk into the building, it's California. And that's why they, yeah, that's why they have it. That's set so up there. cool. It's hilarious. Isn't there like a, a one of the hotels up there in Tahoe have a pool? That goes that it's on the border yes. as well. Yeah, there, there's a pool up there in South Tahoe where it's the has the one side of the pool is Nevada and one side of the pool is California. Even cooler. It's a pool, so it's cool. So you can just swim across two states. I don't know now. if that one is exactly <laughs> as up there because since that's a lottery place, people go up there to like buy all their stuff and whatever but that one's a casino so the grounds kind of go on both sides so it has to probably go onto one thing 
unless they're making the rooms on that side or California rooms, which they might be doing. I honestly don't know. It's fun to go to Tahoe and see all the casinos smashed on one side of Tahoe City strictly because it's on the Nevada side and then all the hotels are just past it. Yep. Hilarious. <laughs> it's on purpose, people. Okay. It's, mm-hmm. it's cool, though, seeing how like it's all planned out so that they maximize their profits on both sides. Yeah. You do all your shopping here. You go gamble over there. Team on three. Do not cross this fucking lawn with the drink in your hand. Do you hear me? <laughs> I don't remember if it was you or someone else, Cyrus, but they were saying that um, up in Tahoe, they're now passing a thing. Or no, I think it was my mom that was talking to me about it, but at Sand Harbor and a couple other beaches, they're making it so that if you want to go to the beach for that day, you have to make a reservation to go to it. Yeah, because Damn. they're because they're tired of people like literally ten thousand people or not not ten thousand people, but you know how traffic is up there yeah, at ten yeah. o'clock, so that people aren't just showing up and they're sitting there all day going, "No, we're full. No, we're full. No, we're full. No, we're full. No, I don't care. You're a Nevada resident. We're full. No, you know <laughs> stuff like that." So from what I read, it was from like the first week of June onwards. They're testing it at two beaches. You said Sand Harbor. I forget what the other one is. It could probably be Zephyr. But what they're somewhere on the Nevada side, probably. But they're testing it out on weekends and holidays where you have to reserve a spot up there. Just because they know that everybody and their mother is going to be driving up there. And what they're trying to cut down on is people legally parking on the side of the road. Cause I remember three years ago I drove up there with Sierra and Oscar was following us behind. We couldn't find a parking spot to save our life. It was impossible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Unless you want to park your car in the woods and hope that it doesn't get towed, and they're yeah, really good at towing cars. Somebody that's up there, that, that, that that's a bounty up there. That's during the summertime on a holiday. The tow truck mm-hmm. businesses are definitely working because they're like illegally park car right here. I'm on it, twenty fifth of the day, and it's only nine o'clock. Like, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But if the program is successful this year, they're going to enforce that on all beaches next year, all the time, where you have to get a spot. And I think that sucks because it takes out the, uh, oh, let's just go up to Tahoe today because you have to reserve a spot. But also, at least if you reserve it, you know you're getting a spot. You know your car will be somewhere not on the side of the fucking road. It won't Tahoe's be told. a special fucking lake, dude. It is. Like, oh, last year, they left 6,000 pounds of trash on the 4th of July. And that's coming nice. up again yeah. this year. B- bunch of motherfuckers that just show up and are like, oh, someone's going to pick it up in a couple weeks because they do that charity event. It's like, yeah, you know what you could do is just bring a plastic bag with you and take it back with you. Dumb There's fucking trash tourists. Can, dumpsters everywhere. Yeah. Like, so Nevada. You know the, re- the, the reason why, sorry, I just want to say it. The reason why Tahoe, you can still drink that lake water. It's like 99% pure is because people fucking pick up after it because dumb fucks like that don't pack out. I think the one thing that Nevadas and Nevadans and Californians can agree on is uh, fuck tourists at Tahoe. Oh, yeah. Because we, we treat that as our lake. Like, it's nice to keep it beautiful and shit like that. But if somebody from Vermont is flying in, they don't know that. They're just like, oh, cool, lake, beach, nice. Oh, cool, we're going to dip our ass in the water and throw all our shit behind. Fucking yeah. Vermont ass. <laughs> Fucking Vermont ass. I'm picking fights with Vermont. If you live in Vermont. It's on site. I'm not going to say anything offensive. have beef with Vermont. Yeah, the Cabros That's versus it. the state of Vermont. <laughs> I can't wait till something in Vermont actually gives us trouble and we can file like a Supreme Court case against it or get it moved up to. Stephen, uh, oh, we know I was supposed to say Stephen King's in Vermont, but he's in fucking I Maine. He's in Maine. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah I, I, they're close to Maine. each other, so. Maine's, Maine's the north one in the east. All right, let's start a perpetual fight with Vermont. Can anybody think of anything important that happened there? There's a lot of like one of the first Lobsters. colonies was there. There was like some Revolutionary War stuff there. Yeah, but I live on the West Coast. I didn't learn that. You should have. How did you, you... You have a bachelor's degree, man. That's all I have to say. Yeah, in business. <laughs> I don't do business, business with Vermont. <laughs> Sketchy as hell. I crunch numbers, okay? Don't let me see a Vermont license plate within five yards of me, okay? What does it even look like? What color exactly. is it? <laughs> Cyrus, you just said you crunch numbers, and I thought of a funny numbers joke. What's a funny numbers joke? So why was six so afraid of seven? Oh, hit me with it. Because seven, eight, nine, right? You know, <laughs> it's a classic. Oh, why was why was nine so afraid though? Why was nine afraid? Uh, no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I fucked it up. I fucked up. The joke. <laughs> I fucked up the joke. Redo. All that. Why was ten so afraid? 
Why was 10 afraid? Because he was right in the middle of 9-11. Oh, oh my god. Nice. <laughs> cool. Was that in Vermont? That was in Vermont, Cyrus, correct. Might, it might as well be. Manhattan, Vermont. Never forget. <laughs> I don't know a single city in no, Vermont. No, it's not funny. Shut up. But Vermont? Yeah, it's the well, most serious thing I can think of. Let's box real quick. Vermont. What city would be in Vermont? Just, uh, like, I can see the picture of it on a map, like its state outline. Yeah, yeah. It's probably a city named Columbus, right? There's like a Columbus in every state. Or Reno. I'm going to get... Or Dayton. I'm going to look up and get it ready, the fucking capital of Vermont, and see if we've heard it. I was going to say Bismarck, you've never that's heard a Dakota. Of it. You've never heard of the, the capital of Vermont. Is it like Marshall, Vermont? Is it like a, oh. is it like a person <laughs> name? I, I, okay, I want you guys to give your best guess of what the capital of Vermont is. Did you both just look it up? I looked it up, yeah. I don't know how to even pronounce that fucking name. Capital I'm City, Vermont. Montpellier. Montpellier? Mo Mont I think it's like Montpellier. 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 Yeah. It might be that. French. It's French. It sounds French. Or it's like super Italian where it sounds French. Yeah. Burlington. The coat factory's there? Is that where Burlington Coat Factory's from? Because that'd actually be dope. I know her. She's in out. Pennsylvania. That's a fact I do know. Pennsylvania rocks. They don't sell pencils there. Montpelier. If, if you're speaking an English accent and I looked up the how to pronounce it, it says Mont. Montpelier. 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 Is Montpelier. That is a very American way to say it, honestly. Mm -hmm. Mm. Montpelier. Uh, yeah. Cyrus, Burlington Co Factory first started in Burlington, New Jersey. Oh. Jersey. Good. Minus Joy one point, Vermont. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fucking... I have their negative 20 already. Portisub <laughs> started right here in our hometown. Yes, it did. Not Vermont. Did it really? Yeah. Portisub like, started, Port started in Reno. It oh, started in Sparks. Sparks. Yeah. That's well, fucking Reno nuts. Sparks, same thing. It's all one city. Do you think we'd merge cities to make one big city and call something different? If a civil war happened, yeah, Reno has to unite. Sun, Sun Valley and Sparks. <laughs> <laughs> the three kingdoms. All the way down now, the district of oh Reno. Oh my God. New Reno. <laughs> New Reno? Oh my God. That's Fall fucking two Fall reference? Out, dude. What's the most notable thing to come out of Reno then? Uh, the that, train well, stations way made, back in the day. The guys that made Splitgate. They're based out of here. No, they aren't. Oh, uh, Jeremy, Jeremy Renner lives here. That was a big story. When no, he, he got lives in Tahoe. Run over by that. No, he lives in, uh, 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 like over by Mount Rose Highway, that neighborhood that's over there. That's mm. when that that's when that snow machine happened a year or two ago. Right, right. When he got run over by it. It's in Reno. It's at the bottom of the hill. It's Reno. Oh, okay. Dude, that happened the same day that Damar Hamlin died. And they got resurrected. Who? <laughs> Two Who? crazy snow incidents, dude. Because oh. wasn't that a snow game up in Buffalo? It was in Cincinnati, I think. Oh. So I don't think it was snowing. Oh, you, oh. you're right. It was in Cincinnati. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that, that Bills player that had the heart attack on the, in the field, right? Yeah. Cardiac arrest, bro. Yeah. Damn, that's fucking bro. crazy. You know what's even crazier is his Vegas odds to win comeback player of the year were like astronomical because all he had to do was pretty much play. Like that was a true comeback story. Had <laughs> yeah, and Joe Flacco yeah, won. He's come back to life. Yeah, he didn't win. They gave it to Joe Flacco. Man died on the field and came back, bro. Yeah, but that's that that I'm was a one and one. Him. That was a one of a kind stat. There needs to be more players to have heart attacks on the field to come about. You know, oh, Joe, you're right. Joe Flacco had NFL stats to no, be the comeback player. There was a Lions wide receiver that had a heart attack and died back in the 70s. I forget what his name was. Let me look. Oh, it he up. didn't come back. So, so Demar yeah. already had the odds out of his favor for that one. Then <laughs> it's one to one now. Oh my god! You know when you put <laughs> it like that, it's a little morbid. <laughs> Chuck Hughes Look. was the name of the Lions player. No, it was just what, what position did he play? Wide receiver. Okay, same kind of thing. It says the 28-year-old fell on the way back to the huddle after a play in Detroit's uh, game against the Bears. Just a few plays earlier, Hughes had caught a 32-yard pass. Hmm. Yeah, tragic. That sucks. So yeah. the DeMar Hamlin case wasn't a first, but it was the first in a long time. Because I, I was unfortunate enough to watch that game because it was the... Uh, we were watching it together in an Xbox party. Yeah. I was eating dinner. 
I remember what I was doing. Were you, you were eating dinner? Okay. Yeah. We, I think you were in the party, but it happened <clears throat> while you were down there probably then. Yeah. Because I remember when that happened. It was the, it was week 17, which is the new finals for the uh, fantasy football. So that game had a lot of implication for people's fantasy matchups in the finals because it was the Bills and the Bengals who had like Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, you know, players that, that was everybody the year drafted. we started our league. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it really hurt a lot of people because they ended up uh, just canceling that game altogether. And all the players in that game got zero points. So if you were unfortunate enough to put them in your lineup, that you were just out of luck. And that happened to me. I was in a f- third place game and I lost because Joe Burrow was my quarterback. Ooh. But we just kind of accepted it because you watch somebody yeah, go out there and get thing. injured. Yeah, fucking Joe Burrow. <laughs> they call him Mr. Shiesty. They don't Joe call him that. Shiesty. I call him that. But speaking of NFL, though, it's uh, we're a couple hours away from July. We're only like three months away from football again. Ten weeks. Ten fucking There's, weeks. has an active timer that he tattoos on his arm every day. He has, he has, he has an alarm that goes off in the morning, and after he puts on his smartwatch, <laughs> it goes, buzz, buzz, this many days and this many hours and minutes and seconds until the NFL season starts. And he goes, mm-hmm. it's going to be a good day. <laughs> I mean, it's we're about a month away from the uh, first preseason game, the Hall of Fame game. So if you're a psychopath and you're into that, it's a month away. I guess it's going to be there of the three of us. Sorry, Rose. Watch it for Sorry, a quarter. <laughs> so in the last couple of weeks, we haven't really talked sports, but the fucking Stanley Cup final happened and the NBA finals happened. It, wasn't it the Celtics and the Canadians, the, what, the no. Oilers? No. No, you're mixing. Who, who went on? No, I'm, I'm talking about both of them though. Oh, uh, the Celtics. I'm talking. I'm talking about the winners. The the Boston Celtics and the Florida Panthers. The Panthers ended up winning. Okay. Yep. That was an interesting series because Florida was up three zero, and Edmonton. If they faced the Edmonton Oilers, they stormed back and tied the series at three to force a game seven. And it was the first time it's happened in uh, the Stanley Cup in seventy eight years for those two teams to be at game seven. For any team to force a game seven after being down three zero in the Stanley Cup, so it was it so, was once in a lifetime event. You probably know it, stars. It, in like the NBA and the NHL, they do like two teams at that place and then two teams at that place, and then what do they do if it goes to three three? Like what what's decided for the home home team for game seven? So the team with the better record hosts the first two games, and then okay the second set of games are hosted at the other team's house so each team is guaranteed two home games if the series goes on longer then it goes uh game five and seven are the team with the better record and then game six is the team with the worst record so the team with the better what record if, gets the advantage what if all the what if both teams win at home all the times and that's the for those three games and they it's like a tied record then you know it go, I mean? then it goes into game seven and the team with the better record hosts game seven what would be the better record? Like overall, like NBA everything? record, yeah. So like the regular season record. So the oh the regular regular season record. Yes. Okay. So the Boston Celtics had sixty four wins to the Mavericks fifty. So the Celtics were the home team or had the home court advantage. Okay. Same thing in hockey. So so that would be like when the NFC Championship happens, whichever teams of those two Super Bowl teams would go to whichever had the most wins instead of going to a pre-pick stadium. Yes. In a, in sense. Okay. Cuz in the Super Bowl they do it at a neutral site. Yeah, exactly. So it really doesn't matter cuz both teams are going to the neutral site. It, the only thing they do home team away team for is jersey preference and the coin toss. Yeah. So I think this last year the Niners were the away team, so they didn't get to choose the jersey color, the Chiefs did. Or no, it was the other way around. The Chiefs were the away team. Right? Yeah, because we were close. I think I think we were the. No, I think the. I can't remember. Damn. I think the Chiefs actually were the home team. What color jerseys what, did, the, did the Niners wear? I can't, I don't remember. I'm gonna say the Niners were the away team. They get to do the coin toss because they're the away team. Like choose the. Yeah, coin. yeah, yeah. We remember because when it went to, uh, uh, overtime, we got to we we called the toss and took the ball and the Chiefs that's were correct. like yeah that's awesome because the Chiefs knew the new rules and no one on the Niners did. Mm-hmm. Because the new rules, the controversy behind it was is if you win the coin toss, you can now kick knowing you can't lose the game. You want to see what the Chiefs do with the ball. 
if they kick a field goal, that and, means and that at if the you very score a touchdown, tire out at the very least to tire out the other team. Because if you you know you're not going to lose if even if they score, mm-hmm. fucking do, put up a fucking battlefront with your defense as a last effort. Tire those fuckers out. Of course. <laughs> And then fucking send it down and score. Because if the Chiefs would have scored, like if they had ball first and they scored like they did, then the Niners probably wouldn't have kicked that field goal. They probably would have also tried to score. Yeah. And then the possession would have went back to the Chiefs. Or say the Chiefs kick a field goal because they didn't score and the Niners did to them what the Chiefs, or what ended up happening where the Chiefs scored the final touchdown. They could have did that to the, the Chiefs themselves. But it's... It's weird because a lot of the players didn't know the overtime rules, which is crazy that Literally, a bunch of yeah. paid professionals didn't know the rules to overtime. But it was also the first game with those new overtime playoff rules. It's also crazy that the Chiefs have never got a holding call on them in the three Super Bowls they've won in the last few years. I think just the Niners games. Did they get holding calls in the in the other one? I don't know. I know they got shellacked by the Bucks. And the Eagles game was just an offensive slugfest by both teams. It was the, you know, I think what you're thinking of, Brandon, is it was this year's playoffs in their four playoff games. They didn't get a single holding call on their offensive line. Yeah. And then during the regular season, they typically get a good few holdings. Their tackle, Juwan Taylor, was the most penalized player in the NFL for holding because he was awful. He had that awful week one game Bowl. against the Lions where he was ball starting and holding and shit like that because he was like 10 yards off of the line when the ball was being snapped. Can't have shit in the NFL, man. Can't have shit in the NFL, man. You think it's gravy, but it's not. <laughs> if I had to pick an underdog team, though, if the Niners don't do good this season, I'm absolutely fucking rooting for the Lions. They deserve a good goddamn Super Bowl win. I on- doesn't have that one dude that has like Bruh. all those women. Them. No, that's the Browns. No. No. Nah, oh. Yeah. No, 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 no. He sucks. He's terrible. Yeah, we don't have to mention his name. Yeah, he, he doesn't deserve, deserve that. The publicity of our 252 episodes and how many subscribers are we at? We're at 252, 252? subscribers. Yeah, but backwards. 252? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. What's it called? What's that thing when it's the same thing forward and backward? Palindrome. What's it called? There you go. Race car and race car. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Taco Cat. Striped pajamas. Wait a oh, maybe I'll not that one. Pajamas were- Stripe yeah, pajamas. Sorry, I just think about that a lot. It's a good movie. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, I thought it would be like actual striped pajamas. No. God damn it. Note for a sec. Gentlemen, I have gaming news this week. <laughs> now that we're oh, like yeah. forty-five Dude, minutes these in. These are bad news. Uh, Let's most of it's it. good. Most of it's good. I do have one thing of bad news that I'm gonna lead off with, and that's Forza Horizon Four being de- delisted from Xbox uh, mm. store page later this year. I think they said December 10th through the 19th, one of those days. Isn't mm. it still on Game Pass though? Are they removing yes. it from that? No, it when it's removed from the store, it's gonna be removed from Game Pass. Oh, that's they, a big old blomp. They that, also that, announced that's, that's a big blomp. They also announced that the DLC will also be off sale, effective immediately. So if you didn't have the DLC for the game, uh, fuck you. You can't buy it now. Instead of Bomp. setting a time limit, being like, oh, you have a week to buy it or something like that. They just went, no, no, sorry. You can't buy that as of right now. Sorry. So I bought the Lego. Yeah, I bought the Lego pack, but I don't have Fortune Island. So that sucks. Because I can't play Fortune Is Island now. tied to that? Yes. Oh no! <laughs> so my only chance of completing it is I have to put my account on somebody's Xbox and play Forza Horizon Four on their Xbox, if they have Fortune Island. And then will that work? Yes, you can play it if you know you don't own it. If they're signed in and I'm signed in as well, and I play the game, it should. It be just fine. has to be their home Xbox, and you have to have your account on that Xbox, and you can play it. I gotta see if got David it, bought it. Got it. Got it. Because if anybody bought it, David did, and if he didn't, um, I'm fucked. It, 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 well, he currently has my Xbox sitting currently right here in my grasp. This is his home Xbox. That's, okay, so you can download Forza Horizon and let me know, Capiche. Wink, yeah, wink. I can check real quick. Okay. See if you can download install it. Now. Download it now. Download it now. I need it. 
<laughs> it's like crack. He, was... he needs that achievement, dude. He needs that achievement. <laughs> I'm checking. I'm checking. He's What's gonna get it. For? But they did do it's something. Not, cool. All right, man. I'm just gonna shoot you in the head and kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You... What's wrong, dude? <laughs> the the way Mr. Boss busts through that door and he's just hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> But they so, did do something cool. Uh, if you did okay. buy any of the DLC for the game, they'll send you a free code to download uh, Horizon 4, which they sent me, so now I own it. Which I think is pretty cool, cool. but that also means that uh, I still don't have Fortune Island. There's nothing I can do about that. They also said that keys won't work also as of the oh, date that they off. delisted it. Yeah, so I can't even go to like CD keys and get lucky and find somebody that has an extra code. You're fucking. That's stupid. Oh, keys won't work. Oh, Ooh. fuck you, dude. Ooh, okay. I don't Jesus. have Forza Horizon Four installed, so I can't see what oh, DLCs yeah. are there. Install it. If not, I'll ask David. We'll see. I, I have one, two, three, and three because of David. Those are owned. Mm-hmm. But four and five are Game Pass and Forza Motorsport, which I tried and it's it's, it's okay. It's. Oh, okay. I played a, I played F one. That's how fast cars should feel in a game. Got it. In that car, it's like you're going 200 miles an hour, and it looks like you're going 50 on the highway. Baller. Like <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but it, you just feel like you're going slower. My next bullet point here is Elden Ring DLC: Shadow of the Erd Tree. Too hard. That's it. People are complaining. Yeah, a lot of people complaining. Of, yeah. Complaining it's too hard and it's getting review bombed by people that are saying it's too hard. You know, in a Souls like game, it's too hard. Well, you see, Cyrus, the simple solution is uh, get good. Yeah, get better. That is, that's how, that's what you do in a Souls game. You just get good. You have to get better. You know, you know why I stopped playing that crab Souls like game? Got hard. I wasn't getting good. Yeah, exactly. Kai Sinat was doing a stream where he was trying to beat the DLC, and I think it took him nine hundred over nine hundred deaths to complete it. There was like a progression of updates, and Jay was letting me know how many deaths he was at day by day. Didn't he have a therapist on to talk him through it? Or something? Yes, yes, he did. <laughs> yeah. Imagine having money to invite a therapist to your house. So you could play a video you're, game. You're just sitting there on a twenty-four hour live stream. And you're like, yeah, I'm gonna call someone that better help right now. Okay. <laughs> By the and, way, and everyone's thinking like, yeah, he he see, he's just making a joke, and then four hours later, someone actually shows up. <laughs> oh, PSA, don't use BetterHelp. They sell your medical information. Oh, I, I did not know that. They, I was just saying that as a an app that I've seen, but yeah, they have, I've seen it getting passed around. A lot of people have complained that their shit is getting sold because there's no protections against it. It's a lot. It's a rabbit Damn, hole. Son. Go look it up yourself if you're interested. I'm not going to sit here and explain it because I can't explain it that well. But I do see YouTube ads Free for Free medical lot. help is great, but it's not regula- probably not regulated by the FDA. So they're just doing whatever. They're just like, yeah, I'm a therapist. Tell me all this stiff stuff. And also, give me your credit card information. Mm-hmm. And also, this stuff. Yeah. like They just took it a step further. And even more credit card information. It's not good. It's some shady stuff. Anyways... Absolutely not, yeah. Uh, speaking of achievements, the Stalker Trilogy recently hit Xbox, and they just put out mod support for console, and downloading Whoa. and installing mods will not void achievements. So go crazy Ooh. with it. Go crazy Cheat with mods, it. here I come. Uh, here that's, we go. That's funny you mentioned that, dude. I have, I'm at like 11,000 fucking rewards points, so I could get a $10 gift card. And I just saw recently on on the current sales that they have, it's fucking the Stalker trilogy and all three of the other Stalker games are on sale. But I think oh, for yeah. the trilogy, it's like twenty six, twenty seven bucks for three and games. And it's not series, it, yeah, for three games, and it's not XS versions. I can I can actually play it on my Xbox. Perfect. So I'm like, ooh, might have a reason to redeem my rewards points. Oh, there's another thing, another game I saw coming. And that's not out yet, but it's available for pre order. Uh, is the Star Wars Bounty Hunter? That shit that came out. I played cool. that. I played that on the PS2, way back when, when I was in elementary school. I probably shouldn't have played it, but I did. Are you ready to but take a team? I fucking remember that shit. I can't wait for it. Is it like a remaster or just re coming out? Uh, it looks like a remaster because it, it uh, but it, there's nothing. It's not called anything different, but it could also just be just a ported over thing. 
for Star Wars Outlaws? No, it's uh, it's called Star Wars Bounty Hunter. You play as a Jango Fett before Attack of the Clones. Oh, okay. And it's like him getting his notoriety to to prove to Dooku that he's like can be the master tem like the template for all these clones, but that he doesn't know yet. That's dope. Yeah, it's a fucking pretty sweet game, man. Speaking of remasters, DRDR was announced, which stands for Dead Rising something remastered. I forgot what the second D is. <laughs> Can be honest. But they're bringing back Dead Rising, the first game. I don't know if you've seen the oh. trailer for it, but they changed Frank's appearance. He looks wigged out. I don't know what's going on with him or what drugs he's taking. <laughs> wigged out. But his hairline is receding at an, alar- an alarming rate. He looks like an emoji. But I'm excited because it's been... That's eight... what he looked like back in 2000 or whatever. <laughs> it's been eight long years since Dead Rising 4 which was awful. Like, I can't bring myself to finish that game. I made the uh, the Christmas video on it, and I just gave up. Ugh. But even Dead Rising 3 was already 11 years ago, which, I mean, go play it if you haven't. But everyone's wondering if I, they're going to if they're gonna make quality of life improvements or if they're just going to, you know, probably speed up the gameplay a little bit, keep the 72-hour timer, and make the, uh, the follower AI better. Because you can play Dead Rising on the Xbox One, but it's literally the original game from 2006, and the followers are brain dead. They can't do anything. <laughs> you give them a weapon, and they'll figure out how to chop their foot off, even if it's just a stuffed animal. I don't know. Those games are rough if you go back and play them, but they're fun. I'm all right, though. Thank you. No, it's going to be fun. You'll okay, have to trust right. me on this I'll one. do it now. <laughs> uh, oh, what and- if I just get the remaster? I think that'll be fine too. I don't think it'll have co-op because the original didn't. I think it was just two onwards. Sick. There's a new target coming to the video game Hitman World of Assassination. They're adding a celebrity into the game that you can assassinate. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. You will be heading to an island to take out MMA fighter Conor McGregor. All right, I'm I'm buying the game. I'll be right back. I gotta go buy the game. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's free to play now or something like that. Is it really? So, no way. So they delisted the first two Hitman game, uh, Hitman, mm-hmm. Mans. I don't know, a grammar. But they merged all the games into three and then they renamed it World of Assassination. And I think it's free to play, but you have to buy each, uh, pa- like everything that you want to play, kind of like Destiny. Oh, okay, okay. Like a launcher for Call of Duty? Yeah, the, the, the Hitman launcher. Everybody go download the, the Hitman, Hitman launcher. launcher. But uh, yeah, you got to take out Conor McGregor, and it's got a bunch of pre-order items that center around Ireland. Sick. Thought that was pretty I'm cool. He agreed to that. Yeah. Well, Sounds like a blast. He was supposed to fight yesterday, then he broke his toe, so I feel like that was supposed to come out kind of around the same time, but it didn't, because he broke his toe. Oh no! Oh no! And the last. Oh no! The last piece of gaming news I have is uh. Website PC Games N reports that of the, I think they said 72 million people that are registered to the Steam ID Finder database, there is over $1.9 billion worth of unplayed games in Steam players' libraries, which they Jesus. round up to about $19.2 billion across all Steam users. If they, you know, average it out to the entire Steam account user base or whatever you is call it. Is that just of like, people that bought a game and never played it yes fucking yeah because i have well, games I, haven't, I haven't played on steam i have several yeah but that's atrocious that's a lot of money but i wonder if that counts like games at full price or if they were able to get some of them for free or in a, hum- a humble bundle well True. With the amount of sales that steam has a bunch of people buy a bunch of games mm-hmm. during the sales and it is steam summer sale right now Currently, yeah. Oh, I gotta add to this number. Hold up. But that's oh, an... I, I get it because it's this number. Ah, uh, yeah. But what that's an mean? astronomical number, close to twenty billion dollars in unplayed games. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Think about how much avocado toast you could buy. Well, I mean, when you think about it, how many <laughs> dollars of unplayed games are just like Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, GameCube, all those other disc games that are just like sitting on my shelf right now. You know, that are just there. They're games you that play can the be fuck played out on of something. Them, 
You didn't buy that that game in its case and then just like, oh, let me leave it there, like I did with Fallout 76. That, that is true. When you <laughs> bought a physical game, you played that game to its entirety. Especially when you were a kid. Because like you bought a game, oh, yeah. you're playing that game. I don't know about you. You, you, you have two hours of TV time. You're spending that TV time looking at the TV. You're in a different dimension. Mm-hmm. Like, I have a lot of games now that I can play, but most of that is just Game Pass or Free with Gold that I haven't touched. I don't know how many games mm-hmm. I have that I bought that I just never touched. I don't okay, want to know. owned games. I don't want to know. This is a section of your own games. I don't want to okay, think about okay, how much okay, money okay, I wasted, okay, you know? Okay. okay. I, yeah, it's, 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 you're an, no, you are an it. achievement hunter. Think about it. I'll just open them all, get one achievement. Fuck out my percentage no, completion. Won't. I won't. You're right. If you if you open a game and get an achievement, you know you're gonna get every achievement. You've said that before. <laughs> yeah, it's a curse. So I haven't played Madden twenty four yet. Curse. Those Madden twenty three achievements were rough, and twenty four is the exact same way. They they have the exact same achievements. And uh, doesn't Maxim have that? Uh, what's it called? The Maxim football doesn't they have achievements when it comes out soon? Probably will. I don't know what it's gonna look like. Hopefully they're easy. They, they're aiming for that game to be free to play too, so that's gonna be nice. Yeah, I might check that one out because mm-hmm. I saw the video that you posted up about it. And it looks like it looks right. I mean, it looks like a normal, like in like a, how Madden would, but it's not. You know, it's a little busted. Like it doesn't work like Madden, but I think you can make it fun. You know what I'm saying? I gotta take a shit. Oh, he has to take a shit. Oh, that's weird. Now it's down to Brandon and Cyrus. I guess we should... 52 episodes. Mm-hmm. More more than the Pokemon. We have more episodes in Pokemon. We're the original. Start. The original Pokemon. So at what point yeah. do we like start being so uncreative that we just take real life animals and then scramble their names around? Say what? Have you seen most modern Pokemon now? It's just ripping straight up animals in the animal kingdom and just using Latin names. No, I have not. <laughs> Look up the latest generation. You'll see they're running out of ideas. It's hard to come up with Pokemon every two years. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, everyone should like and subscribe. Bryant, I know you're here. You can listen, it's Hilmar. If you've made it this far, then um, then uh, you owe me uh, something. I, I need know. need a what up gangsters in the chat yep. from Hilmar. I need a what up gangster from Hilmar. And the next time I see you, Hilmar, if you've made it this far, just pick up a rock off the ground and give me a rock. So I know you've made it this far. Oh, if there's another Hilmar, absolutely do it too. But don't look at my <laughs> address. Hell yeah. And if there's another regular listener and you made it this far, let your voice be heard. We'll shout you out. We don't have a Hell lot of yeah. people shout out because there's so few vocal people in our comments. So leave a comment. It's, it's, leave a like. Yeah. Smash the like button. Subscribe. Favorite this video. Rate it five stars. Hit the yellow button. Follow us on Blogger, our Tumblr account, <laughs> Newgrounds. We have a My- we have MySpace. We're on ninegag.com, funnyjunk.com. What's another one? We're E-bombs on World. Com. We're making some flash games. See us in an AOL chat room. Uh, send us mail at, at our Yahoo Mail. But uh, everyone, don't do it at once because if the internet connection gets plugged up, we don't get phone calls. Play bingo with us at pogo.com. I'll see you on Nicktropolis. Yep. And do I think it's Cartoon do Network.com with fucking Cold de Sac Smash. Wizard 101. Yeah, you'll find us there. Toontown Online. Club Penguin. Dude. Club Penguin. RIP Club Penguin. We, 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 we should do. No, Club Penguin's still alive. It's different, but we should honestly do a Cobra's Let's Play of just logging on to Club Penguin. That's true. Maybe we shouldn't because it's a kid's game. We're a bunch of like almost 30 year olds. <laughs> Battle but, Royale. <laughs> Club Penguin Battle Royale. Who oh, can get I'm down. Out of his server class. Yes. <laughs> I don't think that those games allow you to free chat, but if they did, it's over for my account. Club Penguin did. Mm-hmm. You, you had to have a membership back in the day to have free chat, but nowadays, who knows? Oh, there's this other Randomly. online game that I played. I, can't, I don't remember the name of it. I'll open up the next episode with it. I'll ask Jay what it was called Wizard 101. It wasn't Wizard 101, it was another game. Oh, damn. Damn. They had like an actual card game that they sold that went along with it. Jay Jay has it somewhere. We're splitting hairs. Anyways, follow our socials. Link tree down below. Subscribing. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) Brandon, let's keep talking over each other. So I had this Krabby Patty mug the other day, right? And I filled it with coffee. Uh, Krabby Patty. And I accidentally dropped my remote in it, and I lost my earbuds. Oh yeah, I was so loud that I lost it. And then um, why the train crossed the road? Because they uh, were at a bucket. It, it was stuck in the bucket had Johnny's stardust ass. in it. 
and, and the uh, Stardust came with thumbsticks. No. Thumbsticks that I can so. put on my butt cheeks. 